Bingo! You know, it feels nice to be back in my room and not being forced into my room like like before like back back in my room on my own terms dumbest intro ever anyways hey there guys <laughs> damn it email Luigi Advance here welcome back to another episode of Pokemon XD last time we saved the world we beat cypher and now egan is recapping our events for us dear spot i heard you returned from Cinder dark isle i sent this message as an invitation to the ore coliseum i will be arriving shortly to ask you in per the email is cut off oh, oh egan <laughs> oh egan you never learn there's an old man with a really long beard standing outside. When Jovi asked, he let Jovi touch the beard. When Jovi tugged it, he said it hurt. It must be real. Uh, I see. I see you too believe in the theory that mall Santas aren't really Santas. I see. Anyways, let's go see who this mysterious old man is. Hold on. I have an opportunity to switch out my party. And I need to do that. Because... Well, let's be honest. <laughs> Look, Lugia is a great and all, but <laughs> Lugia doesn't need to be in my party. You can't purify it. There's no, there's no real way to purify it. It's just there, being shadowfied forever. Who did I dump in here? Prime Toast, where are you? There you are. That's right, the toast that I believed in but couldn't do. Uh, poor Prime Toast. It's okay. There's not gonna be much <laughs> to do either. To be honest, uh, I gotta stop bashing on Prime Toast. Hey, what's up? Spud! Have you read that email I sent you? Yeah, you keep cutting it off. I panicked and sent the email before I finished it, but I'm glad to hear that you received it. I was inspired by your battle exploit, Spud, you see. It made me want to have a battle with you. That said, Spud, there are countless trainers that will be honored to battle Cypher's nemesis. I therefore decided to take charge and organize a Coliseum event. Impressed? But before we talk, we must battle you and I on guard. Are you gonna take me on with your level 12 Pikachu again? All right, man. I'm just saying, you and your partner needs to step it up. Wait, why? Why you have Pichus? Well, not not just one Pichu, but why two Pichus? Bro, is there something you're trying to say? <laughs> Is that why I had both Kraymon and Atreus out in front instead of like, you know, who I had at the finale? Oh boy. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of saw this a mile away. But hey, it's a nice little detour and stuff. Really? Well, I know your gimmick now, Rain Dance and Thunder. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's a good combination. A combination I wish I'd taken advantage of more often, but like... You know, I don't. Nor do I ever do. It's okay, Atreus. You can shake it right off. You got that reflect up. For like another two to five turns. Actually, it's not two to five turns. It's like five turns in general. Alright, who are you sending out now? You're sending out Pikachu? Cool. Who's your other Pokemon? Pikachu? Oh, snap. I wonder which one's your partner. I can't tell. They they look the same. It's not like later gens where you can obviously tell the difference between a costume Pikachu and a not costume Pikachu. There's too many costume Pikachus. <laughs> too many costume Pikachus that can't evolve into Raichus. And that disappoints me. Alright, I can't hate on you because you have a Raichu. But, like, why? Also, hi, Volt Tackle. Oh, yeah, Volt Tackle was special back in the day. Yeah. Why did I send out Prime Toast again? Because I know I have selected Earthquake. How bad is Prime Toast going to get hurt? <laughs> Also, pay, pay attention to those levels. That level 55? Yeah. We're in the big leagues now, boys. <laughs> no more level 40s for us. It's a sudden increase. Alright, is that all your Pokemon? Or do you have one more? 
You have one more. And it's another Raichu. Well, good news. I won't... <laughs> I won't use Earthquake again. Alright, uh... I guess we'll just do Brick Break, and then we'll just do Cross Chop, and then Paralyze. What? You know Volt Tackle too? Alright, Prime Toast is dead. Prime Toast! No! I swear, you can be good. Um... I guess Bulga known. <laughs> Plug can't really do anything. I think all Plug has is electric type moves. With the exception of one. I can't think of it right now. Now, like I said, I could do Earthquake, but like, I don't want to now. <laughs> Alright, it's still raining, so Fire type won't do as much damage. But maybe Double Edge will? I'm banking on it. Oh no, my wall shattered. Oh no, it was a crit. Sorry, the Raichu's dead though. I mean, I heard on the inside because I like Raichu, but it's not my Raichu. So it's the, it, the, the pain is is like, there, there's not much pain. Oh, I knew it, but bravo. I repeat, bravo. Yeah, give me that money, because Bulganome partook in a battle. Yeah, I said partook. It's no wonder that Cypher has their eyes on you. I must say, I enjoyed myself tremendously. I'm sure that the trainers who have gathered at the Ori Coliseum will be delighted to face you. Please, we we very much like for you to come. This is the Ori Coliseum, right there. The toughest trainers in the land have gathered with you as a goal, Spud. We'll be waiting for you at the Ori Coliseum. Okay. I'll be there in like five minutes. Because I gotta go heal and... <laughs> A lot of Shadow Pokemon has suddenly have been purified. <laughs> Which is great and all, but that's, that's stuff I have to deal with off screen. Because now we are in the post game and I bet you're wondering... What's there to do in the post-game? This game has a post-game? I thought this was just a one-off story and junk. Well, yeah, th there's that, but you also have forgotten and I have to like bring this up because I have to show this as a list. Can I sort this? Nope, not the best way to sort. Anyways, uh, long story short, there are a lot of Pokemon I have yet to catch, and have yet to purify. More specifically, just this Manatric and I think the Tauros, right? Yeah, I'm just mi I'm missing three. That's right, forgot about Dragonite, haha. <laughs> but yeah, there's only like three Shell Pokemon left, and I'm just holding my time to get Mirror B to show up. <laughs> So he can be all like, hey, what's up? I have this main trick you're looking for. You want it? Can I battle you? I remember battling you. I mean, not yet. Maybe later. But anyways, let's head off to the Ori Coliseum and see what that's all about. Fun fact, Mirror B can't show up in the Ori Coliseum. He's not elite enough. He's not good. Ooh, ooh, this theme, it tells me that a grand adventure awaits, or a tough battle's await, I don't know. Hey, what's up, Egan? Hello, Spud, very good of you to come. Plan to take the Oracle Challenge, da 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 Alright, I'm gonna straight up say this. <laughs> this, um, how, how can I, how can I say this? Um... No, I think I can't explain the rules. Who here is familiar with the Battle Frontier or any of the battle facilities in, you know, the generate in like every Pokemon game? Like the Battle Tree, Battle Subway, Battle Tower, the Battle Maison. Um. Yeah, so if you're familiar with that, then you should be familiar with this. The rules are simple. You pick six, you bring in the party of six. That, that seems simple enough, right? And then here, 
It's basically a mix of Pokemon, uh, st old stadium games and like, with mixed in with like Battle Frontier rules. So you see, everyone in my opponent's side is level 60. They each have a hold item. Like every other thing, there are certain items in Pokemon that are excluded from participating, like legendary Pokemon and I don't know items that don't work. Uh, this is just uh, this is just gonna be as an example because like, let's be honest, no one is ready for this, not that I know of. And yeah, it's not it's not gonna go well, but. Like every other Colosseum, there are four battles you gotta go for, and this is like... I know this is like Battle Frontier rules, it's also kind of like Battle Frontier, where it's like, you got semi-competitive level trainers here. So like, you really need to think of strategies and stuff, and... This kind of segues into another topic while I talk about this thing and getting completely destroyed by this Houndoom and Slowbro, which I am not prepared for. Oh ah, well, I got plugged, so... It could be, it could work. I don't know. Um... I don't know if I should set up a light screen or not. Nah, yeah, screw it, I, I said I don't care, this is just whatever. Um... So, like I said, um... This, this is like more for a competitive team, so if you like, if you have a competitive team in like, I don't know, any of the third generation games ready to go, like Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, any of those, then you can bring them over to XD and just use them here. I would do that, but <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The past two Pokemon games I've done, which is like Emerald and Leaf Green, are have all been done on emulators since um, before this point. I had no way to record GBA games on uh, you know on the GameCube from the GameCube to, to the. And I have no way to record old school GameCube games. Is what I'm trying to say. Like I could do it. <laughs> I say that because like. I'm playing this on the Wii, and the Wii has component cables and technical details, but like, like I would do that, but I don't have it. That's that's just that that's a just. You can also see how how completely destroyed I am getting right now. <laughs> Again, I don't care, and none of this matters. Oh yeah, also another rule: if a Pokemon is above level 60, your opponent's Pokemon will be fixed to the level of your highest Pokemon. So say if uh. Atreus is like level, I don't know, 65, and everyone else is like barely touching 60. Then the, that Slowbro and the Balloon you see there will be like, will be risen to level 65. And vice versa, if your Pokemon is below level 60, then 60 is the cap and you can't do pretty much anything about it. So that, that's, that's the gist and the rules of the Aura Coliseum. There are rewards here that you can do, and uh, special trainers you could fight and find here. Yeah, I said special trainers. But like, let's be honest, my Pokemon aren't good enough at this point <laughs> to even bother with it. Like, I'm surprised, and I'm jinxing myself because I'm down to two Pokemon. I'm surprised I'm doing this well. And then the last two Pokemon are Pokemon that Plug can't do junk with, and Plug's asleep, so... <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah, also, I keep saying also and keep interrupting myself and doing stuff that shouldn't make sense, but like, ah, sh I should've went after Bloom. If it isn't obvious at this point, you can't gain experience either, so if you're hoping to grind off this, you can't. Alright, so how bad is Focus Punch gonna hit? Oh, you have returned. I have never seen that animation of Parasex before. <laughs> I have never seen that. That's that's weird. All right, Plug's dead. <laughs> Good job, Plug. You, you did great. <laughs> all right, Squink. I trust in you, because all I all I know that all that Berloom is gonna do it's gonna tighten its focus. And... 
I just figured out his gimmick, and his gimmick is putting everyone to sleep. It's, it's sad I realized that too late. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's too bad I can't use items, because, oh boy, items would be very helpful right about now. No, Squirk, you die. It's not that I'm weak. Actually, I am weak. Also, f you. Anyways, uh, like always, there's, like I have done with the past Coliseums, uh, on screen right now. You can see like what the rewards you can get if you manage to get through all the rounds. And, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna spoil this right now because, like I said, I doubt I'll be able to do this. I'll, I'll give it a shot, but I need to raise a team off, basically build for this. Maybe I'll recreate my team in Leaf Green or something. But it, the gist is, there's like nine challenges, each with nine familiar trainers that you have fought with in the past. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, cypher admins, and Chobin. Uh, and yeah, that that's that's pretty much it. That that's that's the Aura Coliseum in a nutshell. Now, one last thing I want to show off because it's kind of off topic and <laughs> none of this will matter. But remember when I say you could bring in bring over your Pokemon from Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald to, to XD? Well, this is how you do it. You would go to this Pokemon Center, and if you were, if you explored earlier, or even noticed, you might have noticed there is a downstairs. You head on downstairs, and look, there is a, a trade center. You can trade Pokemon with a Game Boy Advance Game Pack using the Nintendo GameCube Game Boy Advance Adapter, or Gable, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I won't, like I said, I won't be able to show this off. I mean, like, I can real quick, but like, I don't have anything set up. I also need to find my GameCube link cable because it's somewhere in storage. Because I had something I don't have, and it's a lot of steps, but like, it, it basically, you can trade Pokemon back and forth. And, you know, like before, I said um, how I mentioned some Pokemon have certain moves that makes it easier for them to evolve when you bring them over to Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. This is how you would do it. Like, back then, this is, like, the most useful feature, because I think when... I think when they came out, they're past the level they would normally learn the moves, or they can't learn the moves until, like, a move tutor or something. I don't remember the stupid little details, but, like... Easy, most convenient way. If you're doing this for, like, later generations, it's pointless. Because later, later generations are easier, let's be honest. And they're... And, Come on, not everyone still has the original DS or, like, two DSs and then, like, a 3DS and then, like, a subscription to Pokemon Bank. No one! Not everyone has that. I'm just one of those fortunate people that, like, grew up when these games came out. So, like, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much... It there's a lot more stuff going on in these um in the post game and well I'll probably explore most of it. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Yeah, I know it's a weird episode, but it's a bonus episode, so it's just like I'm just biding my time until like I get Mirror B to show up. Which is really awkward when you think about it. And it, I was about to say, and then watch, he's gonna appear out of nowhere and be all like, Haha, what's up? I'm here. But yeah, I'm calling this an episode. So if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. Really like what you see here, then slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And next time, how about I go catch the rest of the Shadow Pokemon I've missed? Because that's important, right? Yeah. And I'll see you guys then.